Hey guys, como está? How you guys? How have you guys been today? I'll be reacting to Life in the Philippines versus Canada. I think it's going to be an interesting thing to see since there are a lot of Filipinos in, in Canada and then we'll be able to see how their life is between Canada and the Philippines. So, let's get started. Oh, summer versus winter, yeah? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, why does she, she have a car in there? You can get a car if she wants. It's just a simple case of being around your family and when you're alone, you have to do things yourself. So, I think that's normal. Hey, what is that? Sardines. How much is that? Five dollars? No, put it back. sleep $4.35 Large Coke! My goodness. I'm so broke. <laughs> Help me, I'm poor. As a case of being a student <laughs> in a foreign country, you know, you're always broke. It's just the, it's just the truth. If you're at home, you get to save your money. Not only do you get to save your money, 
got to do more things, you got to buy more things because you have a lot more money. You're not spending all your money on transportation, on food and all those stuff. So I, I completely understand where she's coming from. Although I think most of the things are just general things that happens with, when you're in a foreign country versus when you're back home, for example. This last um, two months when I traveled back to Nigeria, like I didn't cook a single time. Maybe, maybe once or twice in, in, in the two months I cooked. And I was just um, noticed, really. Throughout my stay, uh, you know, I had my sister cooking, my brother cooking for me, my mom cooking for me. So it was really like just me chilling. But while I'm here, obviously I do everything myself. I cook myself, you know. I do everything alone, which is, I wouldn't say the downside, but it's really nice having people around, you know. People that care, that really care about you. Really amazing. And then about the transportation thing, I kind of agree with that too, because back home in Nigeria, you know, I had a car, I was going around with. If I wanted to go anywhere, I could just take the car and just, you know, just cruise around. But here, I either have to call, take a taxi or use Uber or probably just use the public transportation, which I think is normal, obviously. So, and then one thing I think I preferred in Nigeria was just the weather. I wasn't prepared for the weather. I immediately I got back here, it was freaking cold. And I wasn't even expecting it to be cold because it shouldn't be cold until like, you know, mid-October and stuff. I got here, I wasn't prepared. Thank God I, I, I had a jacket in my, in my bag. Because if I didn't have that jacket, oh my, it would have been absolutely crazy. Like it was really, really cold. It was like, like eight degrees when normally I was expecting to meet something around 15 degrees you know so it was like between three eight degrees and then I still had to travel like seven hours from the capital city to the city where I stay so it was really really crazy it it was just crazy cold so that's the like the downside I mean, if you have to compare Canada to Philippines as well, I think you could say Canada is almost cold year round. I think about six months. And then in the Philippines, you, you get to enjoy the sun, you know, you get to enjoy summer longer, which is just amazing if you ask me. It's, it's just really amazing. But one thing that is really good about staying in a completely new country, away from your family, away from the people you're used to, away from everything you know, is that it builds you up, you know. It gives you this sense of uh, independence, you know. You, you, you think for yourself, you do things for yourself. You're not depending on anyone or anybody for anything. And that is just, one of the pros really and then your freedom now some people misuse the freedom and some people use it wisely so if you're really smart and you use your freedom wisely i mean that's that's just amazing really really amazing and i think another comparison between like my home country i mean living here or studying here or working here now is the like the maybe, you know, opportunities. Because I think that's what most people, well, that's why most people travel away from their country anyway, is for the opportunities, right? You, you wanna search for greener pastures, you, you wanna see what's out there, you wanna, you know, take chances, you know, take risks and um, get to, you know, expand your knowledge, expand, your finances and everything. So I think it's really amazing. And um, okay, I think I've, <laughs> I, I've been ranting for so long, I didn't want to drag this out for this long. 
so thanks for watching guys um, make sure to comment uh, let me know your opinions about you know living in the philippines versus living in other countries as well uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't and i will see you all later